my channel I do hope you're doing well excuse the bare red face I thought today because this video is all about our essentials for moving out on a budget the cleaning edition all your cleaning supplies except the chemicals but all the bits and bobs that you need so I thought you know what I've just done a big deep cleanse of my face all I've got on is my lashes and a little bit of lip gloss feeling very naked and bare at the moment but You've seen us worse. I'm looking very flushed. I'm just looking at myself in the viewfinder and I can see I look very flushed. But I thought, might as well do the cleaning supplies when I've got clean skin. Let's embrace it. And yeah, this is what we're working with. I've got a little box of something here. And then we've got the infamous home bargains bag. <laughs> full of all the cleaning supplies you need. How many do you need, you would be thinking? I don't know I think I just get carried away with really nice colorful sponges but as I say I'm gonna stop rabbiting everything so if I can't link the specific items I will be linking all of the shops down below so if you want to go and get your hands on any of the bits and bobs you're more than welcome to but let's get in with our essentials for moving out on a budget cleaning supplies edition <laughs> right let's just kick it off shall we this was $2.99 b and m if you've got your cleaning supplies you need a little cleaning caddy i would love to have a cleaning trolley but i don't think i can i can't have the room at the moment and i don't know if brandon would absolutely have a meltdown if i walked in with a cleaning trolley but that could be something i could get once i'm in but for now i've got my little cleaning caddy so as i say you can pick these up from b and m 2.99 they do loads of different ones now i think you can get ones that say like fabulosa washing up or online and etsy are great for little things like this but it is just a three compartment so you've got your two small ones and your larger one and i actually featured this in the summertime speed clean with me because i thought you know what it was at so might as well use it but yes i do want some more because when i got these i had a few comments on one of my b&m hauls when i picked this up saying shan i think you've already got it and i thought i'd already had it but when I went through, I haven't, unless Mama G has nicked it. So yes, I've just got my one little cleaning caddy, but I think I might get more or I might get a cleaning trolley. Who knows? And then my lovelies, this bag is just, I mean, look, we have got everything and anything. And I've got all different types for different things. So let's just, I'm going to balance this on my knee and hope to God that it doesn't drop out on me. What are we going to start with? What are we going to start with? obviously primark primark is one of my go-to's with the bargain shops for cleaning bits and i've picked up i've tried to get some like seasonal bits let's just say so there might be some christmas themed bits in here there might be some summer bits these i think are more autumnal vibes these are just the standard microfiber cloths for what are you pound fifty, so 30p a little cloth and you can get these with matching tea towels and so many prints mama g has got some gray and pink ones i've gone for these as i say because more of an autumnal but yes primark home can't go wrong with it and as i say if you want the matching tea towels could have a lovely lovely set elbow grease i think i picked this up oh my god they were falling on me great elbow grease i think i picked this up either from online pan shop or b and m would have only been a quid Elbow grease, I know, is quite a firm favourite with everyone, especially with our products. But as I say, I can't buy me products and that just yet because, as I say, I could not be moving for maybe a year or two years. So I can't really have, like, chemicals sitting there. But just wait for the first hauls when I actually have my own place for all the cleaning supplies with that, the sponges and that, right? <laughs> We've got a couple more bits from Primark here. Let's try and get some Primarni out of the way. I think this might be it. You would have seen these on the hauls. Picked them up. 50p down in the sale. You know what? They're just funky. They're cute. We're going to leave it at that. And also to go along with that, for £2, I picked up some little Disney microfiber cloths. Now, microfiber cloths, from what I gather, are great for, like, when you want to dust down your top. I don't know if these are the ones that leave the smears because Mama G has told me about different types of cloths. I haven't got, like, that far advanced yet into the cloth world let's just say but i like them just because they look nice and even if i can just use them to like dust and polish that's good enough for me another thing that i kind of get suckered into are 
the Minky Dupes. I don't own a proper Minky. Actually, I don't think I do. I might do, but I'm not quite sure yet. So whenever I used to do an online pan shop order, you best believe I would always be picking them up. So I think Minkies are what, two, two fifty, three pound. The brand Vivid Cleaning Products, you can get dupes for. So I've picked these all up at onlinepanshop.com. As I say, I will leave, if I can't leave the direct links to these, I will leave like the general website down below. One pound, can't go wrong. I have got quite an obsession though. Like you will see, we'll do like a little minky dupe tot up at the end. But there is a lot. And as I say, the brand is Vivid Cleaning Products. So check them out. I don't know if they've got an online website on their own. I'll have a look. And if they do, I'll leave it down below for you, my lovelies. A dupe for... I would say these are a dupe for the Scrub Daddies. I think I might have some Scrub Daddies in it. Because I picked some up for Halloween. Picked some up for Halloween last year. Didn't want to use them. And I was like, you know what, they can just go away for when I move out and look all nice. And even then, I probably won't use them. They'll just stay there as a little decorative piece. But these I pick up in pound stretchers. And they're called the sponge buddies. And they do them in loads of different shapes. But the ones I've got here is a strawberry and a lemon. And they're only a quid. And as I say, it is a sponge one side and a scrubber the other. And for a quid, I mean, if you use them for a week or so and they get a bit mank, you can pop them in the bin, buy a new one. It's not like... If you get, I think the scrub daddies can be sometimes three, four pound. Unless I get them on an offer or they're really cute like some of the ones in here. I just want like cheap and cheerful. So as I say, if I see these and they look lovely and I get say a couple of weeks or a month's use out of them, I'm good to go. I'm happy because I do think I will go through sponges quite a lot. And one of these, as soon as something gets dirty or I see it's used, I want to get rid and get a fresh one in. So I do think I could go through sponges quite a lot. Right, the log cabin vlog, you would have seen we went to a garden centre and I got a little bit suckered into the garden centre, where are we? Because it wasn't just me actually, Brandon got suckered in too. Let's start with the thing that Brandon liked and this is his little thing for when we move out which he's fascinated about. So when you go in you see the JML stands with like the little videos and everything and they showed this and it's called the squidgy thing. So we picked this up at a garden centre called Dobby's, but I think you could probably get it if it's on JML, maybe like Robert Dias and bits like that. And it is literally a sponge, obviously, but because it's like the silicon grip, you can use it to open the tin jars, you can use it to brush soil from dirt. It also acts as like a hair grabber, you know, like when you get the lint rollers, it acts like that. So they had it in green and blue. B couldn't decide on the colour, so I thought we'd just go for a green. And he was most excited to try and use this at the cabin. And I was like, no, you can have that. And that can go in the little, like, cleaning supplies. And that will be your little domain. But I have got things in here for him that he's just not aware of yet. I've got, like, some pink and blue things, like his and hers cleaning supplies. You know, we like to be prepared. And then I picked these up at the garden centre by the brand Addis. Now, I think Addis is quite... A well-known brands i always see it in like tk Maxx and home sense for kitchen supplies and i just picked up three super sponges for one pound each hard wearing yet gentle safe on glass dishes pots pans and work surfaces so they're not going to scratch anything which is great and they're 100 percent microfiber so i did originally pick these up i think i picked like six up i speak more about it in the log cabin vlog and brandon was like no you need to put them away i was like okay so I just went with the three. But as I say, everything in moderation. If we ever go back there, I might pick up some more. Right. This is an absolute lifesaver. I think I picked this up in Poundland for a quid. And it's the Dishmatic. But of course, I had to get it in pink because normally they're in green. I'm just fascinated with this. But I'm not going to lie. How do you... Oh, you put your washing up liquid in the hole... And then, like, it comes through the top as you clean the washing up liquid is automatically dispensed. Like, really? Oh, I didn't realise this. There's different types of refills. Oh, I think I've just bought, I've bought loads of refills, but I think they're all the same. I didn't realise. So, if you buy this, whether you buy it pink or green, or if they do any other colours, let me know. The refills, they say yellow, white or blue are non-scratch, green is general purpose and black is extra heavy duty. I think I just went with all green ones because I can see a few floating about in there. So we shall see. But yes, 
highly highly like that and i say pan land a quid oh my god i love that you'll be seeing me there wish washing my dishes away so wish ladies to wish and where are they actually is that the only refills i've got oh so actually i've got a green and a white set didn't know that and i think the refills were one pound also but these i know dishmatic you can pick up in like most supermarkets and that sainsbury's tesco's asda your homeware shops i've seen them in dunham as well like very very popular but i just loved it oh look here we go the minky count is growing i love this one these two are like probably some of my faves oh i just love it right what have we got what have we got some microfiber cloths jelly belly ones i think i picked these up once again either online pan shop or cherries actually just thought they was funky for a quid would have been any more two pack you also could use them as tea towels that's another great option and then right oh another pack of dishmatic refills so we've got three sets of refills that's fabulous right what are we gonna go with what's this let's pull this out ah, everything is hooked on <laughs> so we'll go with these these are special buy you know if it's a special buy it's from b m one pound ten mesh scours so these are like where you pots and pans and need a good old scrub hopefully you don't scratch the life out of them a quid for ten love the colors and i'm gonna sneeze i think Oh, it's gone. Isn't that the worst feeling when you can just feel it there and now my eyes are watering? Great. Don't quite know. Right, so they're from Ikea. I'm guessing they're less than a pound. And are they like a bottle brush? I think they're a long-handed bottle brush, but yeah. Don't quite know what they are. I think they are bottle brushes. I don't know why I've got a white and a red. But hey ho, let's just say uh, I've got me long bottles covered. I don't think I've got any bottles though. Can't be thinking of more stuff to buy. This is just a haul to show what we've already bought. Not an excuse to go and buy more. Oh. Oh, did I buy his and hers on Dishmatics? Maybe I did. I bought a black one, another Dishmatic. So maybe me and B have got our own who knows see this is what i mean it's good that i'm doing these videos because i can actually see what i've got because i do tend to get carried away i can't help it right what are these oh so these would have been from panshop.com as well because vivid cleaning company the pastel microfiber cloths so just some nice cloths to match the little minky dupes that we've got that's fab oh this is what i'm talking about so <laughs> these i think i picked up in Poundland or pound stretch, I would have been under a quid. All of my cleaning stuff, majority is a pound or under, apart from there's a few scrub daddies and minky like themed bits in here that would have been a bit more expensive. But yeah, all of my cleaning bits, cheap as chips. And I got a two pack of cleaning brushes, obviously pink and blue. He's and hers cleaning. I don't think B's going to be impressed because I think he wants a dishwasher to be perfectly honest. But I don't know, I quite like, like maybe of an evening after you've done the dinner, washing up, just like time to chew out. So I don't think he's going to be impressed with um, his, his and hers <laughs> little cleaning sponges, but hey-ho, we shall see. Right. I'm guessing, where would, these are from Poundland, I think, so obviously a pound, a six pack of plastic scours. So this is by the brand Power Action. And they are simply yellow, red, blue, and green. Very similar to them, ain't they? What I might do is if I've got some that are like a lot of duplicates, I might have to see if Mama G or Dada wants some. Just be like, do you need any more cleaning supplies? Because clearly I've got plenty in here because I've got a huge bag's worth. Right. I am staring at a whole mist of iridescent sponges. I think I went through quite an obsession. I must have done because this is quite ridiculous. So the first light is from Wilco's. These were probably, again, under a pound. And oh, I do love them, though. They're so cute. So I got six pearlescent scourers, pink, blue, and white. 
but how cute are they i probably didn't need them i definitely did not need them but you know what i just get suckered in and then that's not even the worst of it my lovelies because look we've got sparkle and shine and squeaky clean these once again oh so this was a four pack b and i can tell by the sticker straight off and that's like all pinks and then i've got pearl scourers oh i like them ones pink yellow and cream they're nice they might have been home bargains actually the pearl scourers and then oh god <laughs> oh what is all this so these are from flying tiger i can tell by the packaging and these would have been under a pound as well more scourers so we've got a red a green a blue and a pink these clean zone i think are from poundland if i remember correctly clean zone three scouring pads once again and these ones are blue green and yellow Oh, and would you look at that? I've got another set from Flying Tiger with the four. I've got another set of Clean Zone. I must have bought these in pairs. And I've got another set of Pearl Scourers. Right, my lovelies. Oh, hold on, hold on. And I've got two Brilliant Scourer Plain Silver Spontex. I don't even think the Minky Dupes are going to be the worst. I think the Pelescent Scourers are going to be uh, quite hefty. We'll have a top up at the end. But my lovelies, let's stop rabbiting because we're halfway through the bag. So go and get another little refill, have a drink and let's come back for the second half, eh? <laughs> right, so we're halfway through the bag, my lovelies. And let's get on with a bit of themed stuff, shall we? Oh, no, hold on. Another set of dishmatic refills. Oh, I must have bought his and hers because Brandon's got the black handle with two green refills. And I've got my pink one with two sets of white refills. So you see, the boy can't say that I'm not thinking of him. Because I'm buying plenty of stuff for him. He might just not want to use it. <laughs> right, let's go on with some themed stuff, which you're probably thinking Shannon, really. I picked these up directly off the Minky website. So as I say, I'll try and leave them down below if they're still uh, in stock. But I picked up four. I don't know why I've got four. See, this is the thing. I can't seem to buy it in singles. <laughs> I buy everything in, like, duplicates. So, goodness gracious me, I'm going to need a big utility room or cleaning cover, don't I? I picked up two packs of Shamrock Scourers. So, they're green one side and then yellow the other. I think, if I remember correctly, these were one fifty or £2 per pack. So, I didn't think it was too bad, but you know me, I just get suckered in if it's, like, themed stuff. These aren't themed, these are just general minky cloths, but they're grill and pan cloths. So as I say, I think once again, a couple of quid, maybe 250 but I thought, I haven't got any like minky general cleaning sponges, but I do want to like get some nice quality sponges for my pans and like the cooker in wear. Right, I've bought two lots again. They are so adorable though. I got reindeer scarers for Christmas. <laughs> I think I buy in twos so I know like I'm at least covered for two years because as soon as these run out oh my god I'm gonna get some more because I need like a nice little festive cleaning supply but my lovelies look at them oh my god I have a feeling these might have been about 253 pound because obviously like it's themed it's Christmas so you're gonna pay a little more and of course if you've got reindeers oh no i've got three different shapes i thought i had two so we've got reindeers and then we have two packs of three pack snowman scourers oh my god that's fabulous and then i've also got so those two were non-scratch sponges and then oh no i've got three of these So we've got four reindeers, four shamrocks, six snowman, and nine heavy duty Christmas tree scourers. But how cute are they like? I'm well and truly stocked up, and I'm not really mad at that to be perfectly honest. If Brandon watches this, he's probably gonna have an absolute nightmare. But I don't care, it's festive. We're almost at Christmas. Actually, because I seem to have an extra pack of festive sponges for the Christmas trees, I might keep one of them packs out that we can use this year. 
because I'm really fussy as well like about even numbers otherwise I'm going to want to buy another pack of snowmen and reindeers which I don't think I need so the best thing would probably be to like offload some and talking of offloading oh, I've picked these up from flying tiger as well they would have been a pound I believe for 10 sponges so I bought 40 of them I've bought two packs of the reds and purples and then two packs of the green, blues and purples. Oh no, Shannon Lee! <laughs> My bed is covered in scarers and sponges. And oh, don't say I've got duplicates. No, I haven't. That's good. Right, let's go with this now. This ties in with my box item next to me. So this was, I think... $1.99, this is from Pan Stretcher, I can tell by the label. Ain't that bad that I know what bargain shop it is just by the label. I think that's how you know I've got an addiction. But I have seen these in B&M as well, and they're printed microfiber dish drying mats. So I picked mine up in just a classic black and white, and it's got all the utensils and bits and bobs like that. So these are handy, because it being microfiber, it will soak up any excess moisture. So if you don't have a draining rack, you can just put this under, and they will absorb all of the moisture. However, I have got it to go under my drainer. So I had a bargain with this because I saw this, I think the first style in Next and it was about 25 quid. And I thought I don't want to pay that for a dish drainer. And then I saw one in Robert Dice that once again, it was about 20 pound. And then I went on Amazon and I found it for 11 pound. So if I can still find it, I'll link it down below. But it is a two tier dish drainer. How snazzy is that? When I saw that, I was like, excuse me. So you've got the top bit for your plates, and then there's a cutlery holder and a mug section holder. Mind absolutely blown when I saw this, because I was like, what? Looks nice. It's chrome, which I think will be like the theme for the accessories in there. And then I thought that would just look really nice and sleek with it listen to me talking about it being sleek and it's a kitchen draining mat with a microfiber dish dry mat what can i say and oh no right i've put something in here that i don't think is supposed to be used for cleaning but it really saddens me because i don't think i'm ever going to use it to be perfectly honest right I think I picked these up in either Poundland or B&M. They are minky. They was one pound, I remember that. But they're classed as bath sponges. I don't think I'll use these for... Oh, actually, no, they're really soft. <gasps> okay, these might have to go in the bathroom section and just be like figurines. I picked up three unicorns. So we've got a little pink one. We've got a yellow one. And we've got a little blue guy. I'm not mad at them. They're cute. They're not duplicates. Well, they're the same thing in three different colours. But hey-ho, I am not mad. What? Oh, no. So, I know these were a bit pricey. I think it cost me £12 for this set. But these are the only scrub daddies that I own. And they're Halloween edition. So, of course, I had to get them when I saw them. So, the first one I got was the little ghosty. They don't have names on them, do they? No, they just say it's special edition. So, the first one I got was the ghost. Now, I saw everyone with these last year, and I really wanted to take pictures of me using them, but I just, I want to save that for my first Halloween when I move out. People are probably going to think that's so sad, but I don't care. That's me. This is my little, my little stash, and I have things planned as to how I want them to go. Then I got Frankenstein. Look at that little fella. And of course, is it Halloween or even autumn if you haven't got the pumpkin? So yeah, I think these cost me, it's about £12 for the set, I think. But like, just look. How cute are they, I mean. And they did have a Christmas set, but I missed out on that last year. So who knows, I might uh, pick up the Christmas set this year if I can. But... Let's go with these next. What are these? Multi sponge wipes. Oh, I ain't got anything like this, so that's great. I think, once again, these would have been a pan. They look like they're from one of the bargain shops. And they almost remind me, you know, like of the loofah sponges. Very soft. So I think these would be great for just, like, literally wiping down the top surfaces and everything like that. 
love that and would you look at that oh right so my unicorn bath sponges can go in the bathroom because i seem to have picked these up from the packaging these are either flying tiger or wilkinson's or poundland possibly i picked up a three pack of unicorn scourers So that's fine. My three previous unicorns can go for the bathroom because I've still got my unicorn scarers. It's all fine. Crisis averted. My lovely crisis averted. Right. Ah. Oh, we're all hooked up here with fluffy goodness. Let's have a look. So this, I believe, was from Poundland. And it is, what do they call this? A noodle duster. A noodle duster. Probably because they look like noodles. Oh, it's very soft though. I don't know why I haven't got brands on one of these. Not entirely sure why, but hey ho, I've got my own little pink noodle duster. But what I have picked them up, these were from Poundland, I remember because I see them every month when I go in there, is a little his and hers duster. But look. They're the extendable ones. They're how cute. So we've got his and hers matching extendable dusters. So if there's a spider or anything and it's on his side of the bed, guess what? He can be there with his one. And then if it's on my side of the bed, I can be there with mine. And we can just love life with our extendable dusters. And as I say, these Poundland are quid. So fun. I wonder why I didn't get him one of these. Oh, well, who knows? We've got them anyway. My bed is literally covered. This is terrible. Oopsie. And then obviously... You need the dustpan and brush, and it seems I've got quite a few. So, <laughs> I have a dustpan and brush set. Let's have a look. Do you go in there? Right, so that's a set that I've got. That would have just been from, like, Panland or something like that. And then I've got an extra brush. So, I've got a brush refill. Right, that's handy. So, we've got a dustpan and brush with a spare brush. And then this I picked up in the range how much were you because i've got you with matching pads i think the range is a little bit more pricey i think this might have been two pound and the cloth's two pound but this is like a little tiny one you know like if someone literally just drops some crumbs and you want to pick it up but i thought it was flamingo absolutely loved it and then i picked up the four matching flamingo cleaning pads with them absolutely loved them and say so a bit more like of a summer vibe these are flying tiger finest now thank goodness i didn't buy two of these these are a six pack of heart sponges so we've got three women and three male little love hearts absolutely love them they might actually go away in my occasion drawer like the shamrocks and the christmas bits because i can't be using heart oh everything just almost dropped there can't be using heart scarers like any other time of the year. It's got to be a February thing, ain't it? And then the last few things. Oh, my God, I absolutely love these. So, these I would have picked up. B&M can tell by the little sticker straight away. So, this was $1.99 for five washing up brushes. And I just thought they were really cute, my lovely. Just a nice little bog standard set of brushes, but always handy, as I say. If you've got something that's like extra meh and you just think, I'm going to clean it and whatever I'm using to clean it is going in the bin, they are ideal to have. But these are the best, save the best to last, my lovelies. And these ones, again, were from Flying Tiger. I think these were about 50p. They are, however, I think going to be put in possibly with the bathroom sponges. Because looking at these, I think they are bathroom addition, let's just say. So I picked up a his and a hers little duck. But they're like a little nail brush. Look! They're definitely bathroom themed though, ain't they? Definitely bathroom themed. You can go with the little unicorn bath sponges. You're fine. Right, my lovelies. Now, now is the time. We've come to the end of the haul. Should we have a rough tot up? Put down below what you think now. Minky dupes. And pearly scarers is going to be. And I'll tell you the results when we get into the outro. <laughs> right, my lovely. So, the grand total. Minky dupes, seven. I thought I had more than that. I really did. Pearlescent scourers. <laughs> 42. 
and then 40 coloured scourers and just quite a little bit of everything and anything else but that is our cleaning edition done my lovelies I'm going to go and wax some more moisturiser on my face because the weather has been quite muggy and humid down here lately and my skin just needs a bit of TLC so I thought you know what cleaning video clean the skin I've gone through and decanted all my cleaning bits so guess what it's time to top up the skin but if you did enjoy the video guys you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below leave me a comment of am i the only person that loves cleaning bits please tell me tell me if you think this is ott i mean i'm all here for open criticism well constructive criticism let's just say and yeah what was your favorite sponge did you have a favorite type of sponge please do let me know do you think that i'm cute for getting like a his and a hers extendable duster and like his and hers brushes who thinks that Brandon will actually do the cleaning with me? Who knows? But yes, oh my god. I might have to offload some of this to Mama G because I really don't think I need like 42 pearlescent scourers, let's be honest. But, I mean, if it fits in the bag and there's still plenty of room for more, you know we're probably going to still top it up with the hauls and that. You're probably going to watch these and they say like next month we'll be in a B&M or a home bargain store and I'll be like, just picked up some more dusters and you're going to be like, Shan, that whole bag and you're still picking up more bits, darling. Yep, that is me. But I'm going to now pack all this back up because today is the day that everything goes back in the cupboard under the stairs. The house has been a tip for far too many weeks and Mama G is on the slight verge of a breakdown, I think. So yes, Time to pop all this away, get some organisation, and let's just um, see if I pick any more sponges or cuffs up along the way. But yes, take care, stay safe as always, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye!